this fire is not only still smoldering, in fact, if we go over my right shoulder right here, you can see the smoke is actually still rising up out of this old factory here on Mill Street. It's actually created this smoky haze. It's kind of filling the air around here as the sun starts to rise up. The smoke you see is still coming up more than two days later. The first calls on this fire came in about 2 a.m. on Saturday morning, and the blaze reached six alarms at one point, with the battle to get it under control being so intense that water was pulled from at least one area of the pond nearby. And the scale of this fire left officials calling it one of the biggest in York County's history, as Caitlin, as Caitlin mentioned. Now, Todd Gibney, the Eureka Volunteer Fire Chief, said on the department's Facebook page, that he expects this fire to continue to smoke and smolder over the next week, saying that, quote, it's not a realistic expectation to fully extinguish a fire of this magnitude. Now, as you saw here, the smoke is coming up from the inside of this factory. It's contained where all the areas are bricked off, so therefore it cannot spread. Now, fire officials also say one other home sustained damage in this fire on Saturday, but thankfully there have been no injuries or fatalities reported. The Southern Regional Police, along with the State Fire Marshal's Office, are investigating the cause of this fire. And as you see here, this building continues to smoke and smolder. To give you an idea of the scale of just this, I mean, the fact that two days later we still got smoke coming up out of this thing, the fire chief's son, Dan Gibney, who's also a firefighter himself, went on a run yesterday, found embers from this fire three and a half miles away.